सो गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सॉरी फॉर एन डिले सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज जॉन्डिस इन प्रेगनेंसी एम आई ऑडिबल यस मैम ओके सो व्हाट इज जॉन्डिस है सो इट इज विजिबल येलो डिसकलरेशन ऑफ स्क्लेरा स्किन म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन सो व्हेन इट हैपेंस इट हैपेंस व्हेन द सीरम बिलिबिल लेबल इट इज मोर देन 2 मिलीग्राम पर परसेंट है सो इट इज मोर ऑफन सीन इन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज and it is responsible for about 10% maternal deaths hai so ab normal ki hunchi the physiological changes in pregnancy plasma albumin that is decreased hai and the rest is slightly increased just so the globulin is increased and there is marked increased in serum alkaline phosphatase triglycerides and cholesterol and bile viscosity pan increase in so why because it is due to the action of the estrogen and progesterone due to the action of progesterone there is dilatation of the biliary cannulae and due to the action of estrogen there is increase in the viscosity of the bile okay so what is the classification so there are three types hai one is jaundice that is specifically peculiar to pregnancy another is intercurrent or coincidental jaundice and the last one is pregnancy superimposed on pre existing jaundice hai right? so what are jaundice specific to pregnancy one is intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy also known as obstetric cholestasis hai right? this is very important the second one is acute fatty liver of pregnancy third is severe preeclampsia eclampsia and fourth matter hyperemesis gravidarum they are the causes of the jaundice specific to pregnancy another is coincidental jaundice hey that may that what are the causes the causes are viral hepatitis cholelithiasis hemolysis and it may be due to drugs that that are hepatotoxic like chlorpromazine isoniazide halothane and another is pregnancy superimposed on pre existing disease so that is familial hemolytic jaundice and rare disorders of metabolism bilirubin metabolism like dubin johnson syndrome rotor syndrome and cligral nagar syndrome right so there are three classification one is jaundice specific to pregnancy what comes under that that is intrahepatic cholestasis also known as obstetric cholestasis and or kuch acute fatty liver severe hyperemesis gravidarum and severe preeclampsia eclampsia hep syndrome or kuch ek hai jaundice He has a coincidental to pregnancy, and that what are the causes? The causes are viral hepatitis, drugs induced, hemolytic jaundice, and the last one is what? Pregnancy superimposed on pre-existing disease. This much I can say. For male hemolytic jaundice, rare inherited disorders like chronic hepatitis, cirrhosis, tumors. So now, hey, so what are the most common causes? So it is viral hepatitis that is the most common cause of jaundice. on this in pregnancy and the second one is intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy hey and the rest uncommon causes are health syndrome persistent severe hyperemesis gravidarum hemolytic jaundice congenital hyperbilirubinemia and drug induced and acute hepatic failure so now let what investigation will send for jaundice in pregnancy so what happens there is deranged in the liver function test so what else will send will send serum bilirubin hai na a liver function test mauru ke ke pathao sa will send sgot sgpt prothrombin time and serum albumin aur ke ke jaan sa urine al- analysis why because it is also seen in urine hai na urko bilirubin is an uh, secretion hai na so we send for urine analysis and the rest are hemoglobin blood group peripheral smear hai hepatitis antigen antibodies for other types of viral hepatitis like a c e sa pe pathao sa and the last one investigation is ultrasound so why we do ultrasound we do it for kyun sir liver gall bladder and biliary tract and another is for fetal well being too now we'll discuss one by one eh so it is intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy it is also known as obstetric cholestasis ictus gravidarum hai eh? so what happens here it is ki bolta hai it is the second most common cause of jaundice in pregnancy which is the first one the first one is viral hepatitis sunira sir hello yes ma'am okay 
है सो इट इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ जॉन्डस इन प्रेगनेंसी एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज वायरल हेपेटाइटिस सो वाई डज इट हैपन इट हैपन ड्यू टू दैस इज अ बाइल इन द बाइल कैनलिकुलाई विथ राइज इन कॉन्जुकेटेड बिलीबिन so why it is it is due to the excess circulating estrogen right but it only some patients not all the female are ke huncha subjects ki nahi what happens in ab please oh mummy is having class hey hey so what happens is in pregnancy what happens estrogen progesterone is increased right but only few people are susceptible to intrahepatic cholestatic cholestasis so the main reason is why it is supposed it is believed that it is due to the excess circulating estrogen so which causes stasis of bile in the canaliculi and so there is rise in the conjugated bilirubin so what is the manifestation it can occur in any trimester but it is mostly seen in the last trimester so usually the onset is between 28 to 30 weeks of gestation so what are the symptoms the symptoms are there are weakness nausea vomiting so in, in other are specific symptoms ek hi hunsa there is ecteris hai so and pruritis so what happens where the itching patient usually complains of itching in the soles palms and abdomen hai and pruritis persists on this by 1 to 4 weeks bujhiyo so the main reason is due to the presence of the estrogen and it can present in any trimester but it is usually seen in last trimester that is between 28 to 30 weeks so what are the general symptoms it is nausea vomiting weakness and what is the specific symptoms it is itching and jaundice so itching is present in the palm soles of the hand and abdomen hai eh? and usually pruritus precedes jaundice by 1 to 4 weeks so what is the incidence it is 1 in 500 to 1000 pregnant in pregnancies hai eh? and when you go for investigations ki unsa alkaline phosphatase it is elevated a minor transfer is ki unsa it is elevated to 2 to 10 times hai right? and bilirubin level it rarely exceeds 6 mg percent but you have to exclude <coughs> sorry all the causes like right? pih proteinuria polyethiasis hai right? and viral causes so what is about the prognosis it is usually very good and is self limiting it subsides within 7 to 14 days after delivery <coughs> excuse me so what are the risks if it is untreated so if it is untreated what happens if there is very intense pruritus hai so which is which is very debilitating and the reason is unknown but there can be premature labor and since liver function test is deranged ki on the sabse after delivery patient can go into pph and what about the fetal consequences there is fetal distress there is meconium ingestion there is meconium aspiration and syndrome and the most uh, dangerous is there can be sudden iud the cause is unknown but in uh, obstetric cholestasis ki on sir there is incidence ki on sir we feel just go like a sudden iud on so we are very worried that when there is intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy right so now what is the treatment what happens now like the, our main aim is to reach at least complete 37 weeks so that we can deliver the patient so but if the patient is before 37 weeks what happen we admit the patient we give the steroid coverage so that the fetus lung is matured and at least we try to prolong the pregnancy Up to 37 weeks, but before that, okay, unsa, we have to, okay, unsa, monitor LFT. We have to monitor liver function test. We have to monitor carotid topography. Okay, and what are the say, except for symptomatic? So if there is pruritus, you can give antihistaminic, hey, right? and we also give cholesteramide. What does that do? That binds the fat soluble vitamins, so there is decrease in the itching, hey, right? and as soon as the patient comes to 37 weeks. our main aim is to deliver the patient so what happened we do the cervical assessment and if the cervix is favorable we can do induction of labor and if the induction fails or if the cervix is not favorable then we can go for the cesarean section so but our main optimal aim is at, so that we can at least prolong the pregnancy till 37 weeks sahi so now the next is acute fatty liver pregnancy 
so it is due to the abnormalities of the fatty acid oxidation and the cause is not known and it is a very rare condition and why it is important because there is very high maternal and fetal mortality right so what are the symptoms there is persistent nausea and vomiting there can be malaise anorexia fatigue polydyspia epigastric pain and progressive jaundice in half of the patient there are features of preeclampsia such as hypotension proteinuria and fetal edema and what happens after the jaundice develop after one to two weeks of jaundice there is rapid deterioration in late pregnancy there can be malaise vomiting abdominal pain hey mental confusion rapid deterioration and death also so hypoglycemia is common and hepatic encephalopathy severe coagulopathy and some degree of renal failure can also be seen in half of the patients so what happens in this patient ki hua tha when you go for investigations there is thrombocytopenia in 90% of the cases ast alt is elevated there is presence of leukocytosis even ldh is elevated and 50% of the patients present with signs of preeclampsia that is hypotension and proteinuria so what is the treatment it is the arrest of the labor it means you have to go for the early intervention and delivery so whenever there is delivery of the patient that arrest the deterioration of the liver function test right so now we come to viral hepatitis so viral hepatitis this is the most commonest cause of jaundice in pregnancy so what are the kyun se kyun main unse hepatitis it is a b c d and e so what are the transmission mode of transmission mode of transmission is fecal oral in a and e and what happens is parenteral transplantation transplacental and sexual in b and c so in, in case of b what happened is superimposed with the hepatitis b right and hepatitis e it causes fulminant type of hepatitis in pregnancy so it is the most dangerous type of hepatitis during pregnancy so what are the symptoms again general symptoms are ki ke unsa nausea vomiting malaise unsa eh what happens there can be fever and is preceded by jaundice by 1 to 2 weeks when you go for examination or patient like complain got sa dark urine and clay colored stools and when we go for uh, examination what happened you can see ecterus and there is tender and palpable liver hey right? so what happens again you go for what else test what test you would like to go for bani ko lft pure garnu paryo correct and then you go for urine test you go for uh, stool test you go for what a uh, hemoglobin peripheral smell blood grouping and then again you go for ultrasound to see the urinary biliary tract and liver tract hey this much what happens ab in case of hb ki unsa hepatitis a ko transmission is very negligible but there are chances of the increased risk of preterm birth hey so what are the risk due to hb ki hepatitis b virus it is the cause of the chronic liver disease and it is, in some cases it can also cause hepatocellular carcinoma correct aur ko ki unsa wane hbv ko case ma 5% of them remain positive for hbsg and they act as carriers right and whenever there is hbsg positive right you have to go for you have to check for like other antigens like hepatitis e antigen hepatitis core antigen and after the baby is born ki unsa all infants should routinely be vaccinated with the recombinant vaccine kati khera din cha ta 1 2 ra 12 ma dinu parcha hai 1 month 2 months and 12 months ma and when the mother is positive you give immunoglobulin koi le unsa it is 0.5 ml at the time of birth hai right? so now what is the general management general management ki unsa ta So general management management is of ki unsa you have to ki bhai ta pehla to you have to hospitalize the patient hai eh? and usually the main aim is you have to put the patient to rest hai eh? and if necessary you have to go for hospitalization or what say you have to keep the patient in isolation hai eh? and then you have to use the universal precaution like a blood samples are to be collected with gloved hands hai eh? disposable syringes should be used and the excretor also should be disposed very carefully or ko you have to give nutrition hey right? nutrition ma you have to give very important when you have to give diet which is rich in carbohydrate and protein we have to avoid ki on the dietary fat ki na because the liver is weak and it is not able to synthesize hey right? so if the patient cannot tolerate oral feeding then you go for iv 
टेन पर्सेंट ग्लुकोज ड्रग्स में आवर मेन एम से टू प्रिवेन्ट द फर्मेशन अफ टक्सिक नाइट्रोजेनस कंपाउंड फर दैट वी गिव एंड एंटीबायोटिक्स द प्रिफर्ड वन इज न्यू माइसिन यू ऑल्सो गिव ब्लैक टू लोज वाई सो दैट इट रिड्यूज द कोलोनिक अमोनिया ऑब्जॉर्शन एंड इट एक्स एज एन ऑस्मोटिक लैक्सेटिव हेपाटोटॉक्स ड्रग्स इट शुड नॉट बी गिवेन है एंड देर इज नो प्लेस अफ द टर्मिनेशन अफ द प्रेगनेंसी करेक्ट है सो मेनली ट्रिटमेंट इज Conservative. There is no specific treatment, hey. Right? And what happens during labor? You have to be very careful during labor, you know, because since labor is key, and so involved, key, and so there can be chances of PPH. So you have to be ready for the drugs with PPH. Or in newborn stage, you should give vitamin K, even to the mother also, hey. Right? So what is the main thing? The topic we gave for today's topic, my it is one is intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. Another is viral hepatitis. So. इंट्राहेपैटिक सो विल समराइज दिस टॉपिक है सो जॉन्डिस बिलरेबिल लेवल एक्सिड मोर देन टू एंड दी पर्सेंट करेक्ट अने द क्लासिफिकेशन इज वन इज जॉन्डिस स्पेसिफिक टू प्रेगनेंसी एंड अदर इज जॉन्डिस को इंसिडेंटल टू प्रेगनेंसी एंड अदर इज जॉन्डिस सुपर इम्पोज ऑन प्रेगनेंसी है सो स्पेसिफिक टू प्रेगनेंसी में के होना सकता इट इज द इंट्राहेपैटिक ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी अक्यूट फैटी लेबर सीवियर प्री क्लैम्स ए क्लैम्स या एंड जॉन्डिस कोइंसिडेंटल में के होना सकता इट इज वायरल हेपेटाइटिस ड्रग इंड्यूज हेमोलाइटिक जॉन्डिस एंड जॉन्डिस सुपर इम्पोज में इट इज क्रोनिक हेपेटाइटिस सीरोसिस ट्यूमर्स दैन इनहेटेड डिसऑर्डर्स लाइक जॉनसन सिंड्रोम क्रिगल नेगर सिंड्रोम हाई एंड वॉट इज द मोस्ट दुटा इंपोर्टेंट टपिक के भाई वन इज इंट्रा हेपेटिक प्रेगनेंसी एंड अदर इज वायरल हेपेटाइटिस सो Intrahepatic cholestasis ki bo it is also known as obstetric cholestasis or ictus gravidarum. So it is the second most common cause of jaundice in pregnancy. Hey, and why it is? It is believed, it is supposed believed that it is due to the presence of the excess amount of the estrogen. But only few people are susceptible to obstetric cholestasis. Hey, so what is the symptoms? So it can present in any trimester. But usually, it presents in the third trimester, and that is twenty-eight to thirty weeks. So, what is the general symptom? It is nausea, vomiting, weakness. Specific key on so patient complains of intense itching. Now, on so the itching, it is on the presence in the soles, palms, and the abdomen. Hey, and usually pruritus precedes one to two weeks before jaundice. Hey, now what is the treatment? Key boy, Tom. Our main aim is to prolong the pregnancy till thirty-seven weeks. So if the patient is not thirty-seven, if she has not reached thirty-seven weeks, then what happens? You send for LFT, and then you say you monitor the patient. Hey, you do cardiography test, and then you give symptomatic treatment. Just so our provide this stuff, and you can give antihistamine, calamine lotion, you know. And you for what else? Another is you give cholesteramine, you know, because it binds with the fat-soluble vitamins. So there is decrease in the fat-soluble vitamins. And what else? Like that, in in it's in common, sir. And as soon as the patient uh, completes thirty-seven weeks, our main aim is termination of pregnancy. And termination, we decide. You know, if the service is favorable, we, you know, we can go for kills, uh, induction or augmentation. If it is not favorable, then we can go for cesarean section. And kills at the time of birth, keep it. We have to be ready because kills. We have to since labor is involved, there are chances of PPH. So we should be ready with PPH drugs. Hey. Right? Or is viral hepatitis, correct? Viral hepatitis is the most commonest cause of jaundice in pregnancy. So, what are the types? It is A, B, C, D, and E. Hey, right? so A and E say ki unsa it is usually pecoral route. B, C, the D say ki unsa bani it is due to the parenteral sexual hey right? vertical route unsa. And usually D is superimposed on B. Hey, right? and E say unsa hepatitis C it is very dangerous in pregnancy because it causes ki unsa it causes fulminant type of hepatitis hai right? so now what are the symptoms the symptoms same unsa what are the general symptoms it is nausea vomiting malaise weakness hai right? ani whenever you go for examination ki unsa they can be all sit a fever they can be ecterus when you examine ki unsa saksa there is tender and palpable river now what are the investigation you would like to send investigation ma ki ke dekh sakta you send for lft you send for urine test you send for stool test you send for blood group hemoglobin peripheral smear hey now what is the treatment 
treatment is it is symptomatic treatment so your main aim is to pay, put the patient to rest and if necessary go for hospitalization and then you have to give patient very nutritious diet nutritious one you have to give him diet rich in carbohydrate and protein and you have to avoid fat diet because liver is unable to synthesize it only if it is not patient is not tolerating orally then you give iv glucose hai or ko your a you give antibiotics why because i'm like you want to say you have prevent the formation of the toxic nitrogenous compound you also give lactulose because it reduces the colonic ammonia absorption hai this much or ko say ki huncha bhane tapai lai there is ki huncha you have to avoid hepatotoxic drugs hai and in this case viral hepatitis there is no place for termination of pregnancy or induction of labor hai ani arko chai main huncha during late delivery you have to be very careful because the patient can go into pph hai so after delivery ke bhaye to you should be ready with the pph drugs you should give vitamin k to the newborn bujyo sachin sachin हजुर Any questions, anyone? कुछ नहीं बोला मैम तो ये बेरो बोल लेते हैं। तो मैं माला you send me your email address. Yes, yes. okay मैम, okay मैम। So thank you class, thank you so much. Thank you मैम। मैम। अजूर। मैम क्या बोलना है? अब ए एन सी में हमें भिटामिन के दिनसम नहीं था वो पोलिस्टाइमिन दिए बने तब वो फैट सुल्फर भिटामिन के पर ही तो लॉग दिने भाई वाले किस्मत आ डिफिशियोलिबलिबरी डिलिवरी So the main aim is to reduce the bile fat. It binds with the bile fat. Did you? Awesome, awesome. So vitamin K is also available in Enzima Divina. You give after delivery, both to the mother and to the fetus. Ah, fetus, a neonate. Hey, neonate like that. Breathing come corona like this. Mother like that. Kina this. Chance the PPH chaw bane. Routinely it is not given. सिम्टम को चिलायो एकदम पेट में हाथ में खुट्टा में एकदम स्पेसिफिकली सो मोनिटर कर एलएफटी होलएफटी ठीक है धे इक्रीज भैर वी ट्राई टू प्रोलॉंग द प्रेगनेंसी हाई तर पेसेंट सुड अलवेज बी काउंसिल एट देर कैन बी सडेन आईयूडी तो पेसेंट काउंसिल कर और के सानी क्वेश्चंस छा नो मैम ओके थैंक यू एंड सचिन यू सेंड मी योर ईमेल एड्रेस है म तपाईलाई पठाइदिन्छु अलि म पठाइदिन्छु है हस् ओके मैम थैंक यू सो मच हस् थैंक यू ल हस्